Water pick. Look, buddy. My channel Shanae Nicole. If this is the type of content that you would like to see, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. And while you hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way, when every time I upload, you come on over here and join the good buddy scene. Y'all, today we got us some steak, asparagus, and sweet potatoes with all the toppings on top. You really can't see it like that, but I'm gonna hold it up. We got us some uh, uh, mushrooms, onions, uh, peppers, and we got us a chimichurri sauce back here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I made my own sauce, my own steak sauce, right along with some A1 sauce. And you already know, I got me a Pepsi on the side, because why? They gonna sponsor me. So y'all about to get ready to get into our prayers, because you already know why. We hungry. Heavenly Father, I come to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I ask that you let this food be nourished into our bodies and to our souls. I ask that for anyone that don't have anything to eat, that you bless them with a meal. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Happy Monday, y'all. One more day to Halloween. One more day. Let me hold my steak up, y'all. Uh, well, you know what? I need to push all the toppings off. That's what I'm going to do. And eat the toppings on the side. Uh-oh. I got a lot going on. I'm home alone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bars. <laughs> mm. I cooked that steak, y'all. It's tender. Y'all see how it's coming off? Woo! It's hot. And temperature. Let me move all my onions and peppers and mushroom and garlic. They look a hot mess. <laughs> Lord. This is how big my steak is. Ooh, it's a real bad. Y'all see that steam? But I know I ain't going to finish all this, but we going to try. We going to try. Uh-oh. That's all my toppings right here. Oh, honey, the presentation ain't giving what I wanted to give, but it's about to get in their stomach. I'm gonna give y'all a bite. Mmm. I got a knife over here, but I'm scared to cut it with the knife. I'm scared it's gonna um, shake my camera. But how y'all doing? Pull up on me. I got a spoon over here, too. Pull up on me with something to eat. Let me put some shimmy, shimmy churn on it. It's just parsley. Some uh, red vinegar oil. I mean, red uh, wine with some uh, garlic and some of my seasons I put in it. I'm gonna give y'all that first bite. Gonna give y'all that first bite. Look at all them onions. Oh, you know what? You can take it off my hand. Gonna be greedy. Take it off my hand. Can't even eat classy. Gonna get that bite. Gonna get that bite. But you already know I'm a bite it though. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me move my cup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If y'all never made your own shimmy um sauce, I suggest you do. Mmm, mmm. And I like my asparagus sauce. I don't like crunchy asparagus. I never did. I don't like, um, mmm. Crunchy, um, crunchy, um, vegetables. I don't know why. I just don't. But yes, y'all, one more day to Halloween. You know what? I am jealous. Mmm. For people who still got small babies. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, my steak was giving. I done took everything off. And my sweet potato. I had to go and cook those on up. Mmm. Brother. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all want to bite? Um, people who got small kids. My kid is big. I don't know why he's talking about it. <laughs> that ain't mama let it go. No. I'm just going to pour that on top. 
That way I gotta keep messing with this bow. This is so good. And I ain't just saying it because I cooked it myself. Everybody already ate their food. I waited until they got done so they can be out my way. Out the kitchen. The kitchen is closed for them. It's open for me. <laughs> they nice and full. That how tender this steak is. Look at it. Look, look at that. That how tender. Mm -hmm. I could be classy and use my fork. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm jealous of people who still got small kids. Because y'all get the Go to the cream with them. Mm. That was that um roller mirror. I had put it with my strength. When I tell y'all, I love the holiday. I love the holiday. Mmm. Me and my homegirl was talking the other day. Okay, y'all coming. I had to get that bite. Me and my uh, homegirl was talking the other day. And so, come on now, steak. Come on off, baby. Don't eat, lady. And I was telling her about, you know, we were just talking about when our kids were small. And I was saying how I was a bad tooth fairy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was saying how I want to sit down. My kids never said nothing or talked about it. You know, they're older now. They're 19 and 17. So, they never talked about it like, was it real or not? But, I want to ask my kids about the two fairy experience, about Santa Claus, and see what they say. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know they know. They know now. But, like, what was they thinking? Like, you know, because when we were little, my mama used to make us think it was really a Santa Claus. <laughs> when it was Christmas time and we had to go lay down, I'm like, because we stayed in the house that had an attic at the top. Mm, mm, mm. And we were getting in Tennessee then. Nashville, Tennessee. Mm, mm, mm. So my mom was like, y'all go lay down because Santa on his way. And so she's like, you don't lay down. He gonna put ashes in your eye. So we used to really believe Santa gonna put ashes in my eye. <laughs> so I have to tell my brother, can you um wait to go to sleep till I go to sleep? Let me go to sleep first. And so my brother used to let me go and go to sleep. But when you think about it, I'd be if I was here, I would have been like, um, no ma'am. <laughs> so Santa can put ashes in my eyes. <laughs> While you over there knocked out sleep. <laughs> Lord, the day. That was like childhood for me. I have a good childhood. That That's childhood. So I try to make sure my kids have a good childhood. You know, I grew them up like how we grew up. And also with the tooth fairy. Y'all, that baby. One time, I forgot to get that baby her um. Her money for the tooth there. Mm hmm. Now, my husband didn't do it. I did it. He just gave me the money for him. So, one time that baby woke up because the tooth fairy didn't come the second day. She said, Mom, the tooth fairy never came. He all go acting surprised, like, What? What you mean you didn't come? <laughs> the tooth fairy was drunk <laughs> the night before <laughs> and forget <laughs> so I told her one time okay I'm gonna call her mm -hmm. 
I'm going to call her so you'll have your money by the morning time. You know, she's going to come get your too. Don't you know? Okay, I had to go to work the next day. So, I always have, have my work history. I worked in the morning time. Like 4 a.m. So, early in the morning, I cut the light on. Crawling on the floor. Trying to go in her room, get under her pillow, <clears throat> to get that tooth, to put the money up under there, to drop the tooth on the carpet, not floor, carpet. Y'all know how hard it is trying to find a small tooth in the middle of the night, in the middle of the morning, with your phone, flashlight, <laughs> also you get that baby her money. No, you ain't got to hear her mouth no more. Mm -hmm. About why did 2 30 didn't come? The struggle. The struggle was real. I like the fat on the steak. Mmm. It is so good. Ooh, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. And what though? Now, a lot of people don't believe, they don't let their kids believe in Santa, which, you know, is your preference, your, you know, how you raise your kid. But me, I let my kids believe in Santa. So, here in Atlanta, on a news station on Christmas Eve, they have the sightings of the, rain, of the reindeer in Santa. Like, you know, they be like, oh, Santa, you know, here... You know, and then, you know, when they get closer to Georgia, I'm like, oh, it's time for y'all to go to bed. <sighs> Woo! Get you one of these. Here, quick. <clears throat> so, you know, with me, what I used to do, I used to, I think most people do this, though. Kids have on pajamas, their Christmas pajamas. And all they get their hair. I do they did their hair period, but I did their hair uh Christmas Eve because you know the next day we always gonna be leaving the house going to visit family and friends, you know. So they used to see Santa was close and they'll hurry up, you know, go on and lay on down, I'm like, yeah, go on lay on down. They used to make Santa cookies and milk and leave it out. One year they actually didn't burnt the cookies. And so, of course, my husband, he, he's Santa. <laughs> and he had some burnt cookies that they made, they actually didn't burnt. And I wasn't finna remake them up, because it was already late. And so, I was like, well, just leave them out. You know, leave the cookies and milk out. Santa gonna eat them. He gonna, I'm gonna make sure he eat them too, or whatever, you know? So, they go to bed or whatever. My husband, he said, I ain't eating no burnt cookies. <laughs> that man gonna crumple them up and throw them out the door. Because <laughs> he couldn't throw them in the trash can because the kids gonna know. If they open up the trash can, send them through where they burnt cookies. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Chad, he refused to eat them cookies at you. And then, my kids would ask me, Mama, did you see Santa? And his elves, I'm like, I sure did. I seen them. He told me to tell y'all, hey. <laughs> y'all, we growing these kids up to be crazy. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Lord. That is so funny. I'm going to ask my kids. I'm going to ask them, like, y'all want to talk about Santa? Isn't it too fair? Like, what y'all thought when y'all were little? Because, you know, when they have kids. They gonna do the same thing I did, you know, if they choose to. Um, I just did the same thing my mama did, my family did. But there was some good time. If y'all got small kids, cherish it. Cherish them small kids right now. Come they get older, honey, and teenage years, they mean, they got an attitude, they don't want to hug you, they don't want to kiss you. And you got to try to figure out, what's wrong? What's the matter? Uh-uh, not my little cousin. 
What's the matter? They mad at the world. <laughs> but when they're young, so precious and beautiful. So enjoy your young kids while you can. <laughs> but good buddies, I done got a little full. And I ain't even really put a dent in this state. <clears throat> Look how much I done ate. I ain't really do much. Uh-oh. My shit was sure falling off. But it was good. That's good. Like I said, you haven't made it. Make it with your steak. It tastes real good. So good, buddy. Mm. Oh, go and get y'all some candy for tomorrow for them kids. Go ahead. Go and get you some. Because by the time... Well, tomorrow come, we don't have kids in our neighborhood. I wish we did. There's no kid. You know, I'm going to go to the old, I'm going to go, cause I got nothing but older people in my uh, neighborhood. I'm going to go, nah, here you go. Get, get a piece of candy, grandma. <laughs> come on, grandpa. Get this. Ain't nothing wrong with your diabetes. Uh-uh. Get a piece of candy. <laughs> Let me leave these people alone. <laughs> All right, good buddies. So the next video, y'all have a blessed day, a blessed night. And a blessed week. And, hey, be safe out there. Bless up, bless up, bless up. All right, good buddies. Perfect. Good buddies.